Do you struggle with finding a good lip color? I know I used to. It took me years to find the perfect red lip shade and truth be told, I'm still in the hunt for the perfect brown girl nude. I think a lot of people are though. In the summer, I tend to wear like nude glosses like this or a red lip. But when fall comes around, I like to break out the darker, more moody colors and definitely experiment more. In this video, we're gonna be talking about my favorite fall lip colors. Let's get started. So the lip color I wear the most is red. Growing up, I, I stayed away from red clothes. Red lipstick was totally... What I had to realize is I had been trying the wrong reds for a very long time and the right red is like... Fun fact, I used to only wear red in colder months. Even though I found the right red color for me, I always felt like I was doing too much. So my current favorite is the Fenty Beauty Uncensored. I have two bottles. This is a paid actor. This bottle that's all chipped up, that's the one I use all the time. So my favorite reds currently are liquid lip colors. They're a matte formula. With the fact that they're liquid and they're matte, I have to put on a base. I'm really basic. I just put like a chapstick on. I do have an Urban Decay lip prep that I sometimes use. Most of the time it's just like some little cheap chapstick that I put underneath my lips. If you are gonna wear a matte liquid lip color, the base is super important. I know some people don't usually put anything under it and it makes their lips look a little dry. Some people do like that drier look. I find it for me, it makes application hard. I like it matte but moisturized if that makes sense. Now I've never put on lipstick on camera, so. Let's see how this goes. I have a base on my lips. That's it. The Fenty Beauty has a really cool applicator. I feel like the chip allows you to put it on almost like a liner. And then the flat part allows you to apply it to your whole lip. As I mentioned, I have a couple of favorites that I kind of changed, but I feel like the Fenty Beauty Uncensored is the one I wear 90% of the time. I also wear the Sephora collection lip color occasionally. I sorted my videos a lot. I just found that the Fenty Beauty Uncensored is a little bit more richer for me. This shade is number one. Of course, the red that started it all for me was Ruby Woo by MAC Cosmetics. I do occasionally wear this, but I feel like it's been a year since I have worn this. I feel like red is a super versatile shade. I like to wear reds when I'm wearing like bold neutrals like this. I'm gonna change my top and show you the colors I like to wear with this red lip. So of course, red and red is always a good combination. I feel like this is a power color. I feel like when I wear like a red dress or a red suit with a red lip, you can't stop me. The thing I like about the Fenty Beauty Uncensored is it is a very warm red. Ruby Woo is a little bit more of a true blue red. I have a lot of warmth in my skin and especially in the summertime, I think this color looks really, really good when I have a tan. It also looks really good when my tan is faded a little bit. Pick accordingly, but I love it. I also like an unexpected pop of red. Like with this suit jacket, I bought it at Zara and I saw that it has like a little red to it. I love things like this with a little hint of or pop of red that I can kind of wear red with. It'll bring out the red and almost like an unexpected pop. Let me know which colors you prefer this red lip with. So the next color I like to wear is Oxblood. Now Oxblood to me is more like a very deep dark red versus like a maroon, which is more of a wine color, which has a little bit more of a purple blue. I love wearing Oxblood. I definitely love to wear Oxblood in the fall. I don't wear it very much in the summer just because I'm trying to wear light, bright, airy colors. This is definitely a moody shade. So I alternate between two. Today I was going to show you the MAC Cosmetics Carnivorous. A friend asked me, how do I keep lipstick off my teeth? I tend to use a paper towel, but you can also use a Q-tip. I just go inside my lips and make sure I get everything that's kind of trying to creep inside my mouth. I don't like to eat lipstick. This is their Retro Matte Liquid Lipstick. I really like these. It's, they're very wearable. They're matte. I like the way they go on. They last for me. I've definitely heard some people complain that they don't last long enough, but I don't have a problem with it. Lipstick just stays on my lips. The only time that lipstick kind of comes off is if like I'm eating a greasy meal, like maybe around the inner perimeter, but... So this is the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Matte Longwear Lipstick. This one is really, really good. The only reason I didn't put this one on is this one, if I try to take it off at the end of the day, my lips are gonna be stained and you guys are gonna be like, oh. <laughs> All my subsequent applications were gonna be kind of a little bit tainted because of this, but this is, I love it. As you can tell, it's a little bit more dark and rich. So when it comes to wearing this color, I definitely love it with like darker reds. You know, my regular lipstick, I like something that's more in the bright or true red family. When it comes to a darker red, I definitely am gonna wear the Oxblood. This dress is a little bit more of a darker red, maybe a ruby. Yeah, so like burgundy maroon accents. I've tried to wear it with a bright red lipstick, but I feel like it really needs a darker red. I have a couple of dresses in this family and I think that they're perfect with this shade. I also like this Oxblood color with light like black. Whenever I'm feeling slightly more Tisha Adams, goth, it's a great color to wear. If I'm gonna wear all black in the summer, I will wear the red, but in the fall and winter, if I'm gonna wear all black, I'm either gonna wear this color, dark color or like a dark maroon. It's just a vibe. Let me know in the comments if you like wearing Oxblood lip colors. 
So next up are nude shades. Now nude shades are the one area where I struggle and I feel like most black women struggle. All the other colors I'm wearing fresh out of the tube. I can definitely add a pencil to it or even put a, a gloss on top, but I don't need to. When it comes to nudes, like I always have to doctor up a nude. So most of my nudes are a two-step process. If you're a brown girl, you know the basis of all good nudes is definitely a brown lip pencil. So of course I own Cork and Chestnut by MAC, everybody does. But lately I've been lazy and I've been putting on a contour stick. For some reason this won't focus on it, but this is Espresso by Fenty Cosmetics. It is, it is a matte matchstick. I use it for, for contouring, but truthfully I use it more for my lips. I got the idea for it because I saw somebody contouring their lips with this. Let me be honest, it's a lot of work lining these lips. I ain't got the time, so that's why I use this. As I said, this is the foundation for most of my brown and nude lip colors. Sometimes I line just the outer portion of my lips. Because I'm about to do a whole nude lip, I'm lining the whole lip. This is a MAC lip color. I have liquid lips. I have all of them. I still have to doctor them up. I have a little bit too much of the lip prep on my lips. It's usually a little bit more dry. It's basically the same color as my own lips. I added a little bit more brown to it. And what I tend to do is put a gloss because the girls know what they're doing. You gotta put a darker brown to contour, a medium brown for color, and then a, a gloss. This is the Fenty Beauty Hot Chocolate. So this is my regular nude lip combo. I don't really wear this color during the day because I feel like this lip combination requires a very, very strong eye. I do wear this lip combination a lot if I'm going out and I'm wearing like a smoky eye or just a really, really dramatic eye and I want people to pay attention to my eye and not my lips. <laughs> if I wanted to be darker, I could definitely use a darker brown lip color, but this is what we got right now. Now, in terms of favorites, when it comes to a favorite brown or nude lip color, I don't have any. I do love this Espresso Contour Matchstick as a liner i do mac chestnut and cork of course i've definitely tried the lower price knockoffs i didn't like them as much but like liners last me a year so it's not a big deal and i find that my favorite chocolate brown lip gloss right now is this hot chocolate by fenty beauty when it comes to this nude lip i will say i don't wear it very often in the fall i definitely wear it with red but like a more dramatic eye of course black i don't really wear it with browns because it's a little too monochromatic on my skin i end up just blending together <laughs> As you can see, I'm on the struggle bus when it comes to nude. Let me know if you have a brown girl nude recommendation I should try. I may own it, but let me know. Also, tell me what you think of me with this nude lip. So the next color I have to wear is like a maroon, burgundy, wine, whatever you want to call it. I have so many different favorites and I feel like this is the color I used to wear growing up. I remember my mother loves burgundy and she used to love burgundy lipstick. We had burgundy carpet in the house. It was a mess. <laughs> Currently, one of my favorites is the NYX Transylvania. I love it. It definitely takes a little while to set. So let me put it on first and then I'll come back. All right, I'll be right back when it sets. It does take like five minutes. It's gonna look a little different. So this is NYX Transylvania. It's super, super low cost. In addition to that one, I also love High Drama by MAC Cosmetics. It's another retro liquid matte lipstick. And I also like Train Blue by NARS Cosmetics. This is a velvet matte lip pencil. It's not a lip liner, it's actually a lip color. I've worn it down to a stub. Funny thing is sometimes I wear this as a liner to another dark color. Sometimes I wear it by itself. I love all three for different reasons. And depending on what I'm wearing, I'll pick one or the other. Usually it really comes down to the formula. I feel like the NYX is a little bit drier. This is matte, but it's really, really easy to put on. The MAC Cosmetics Hydrama is just more of a traditional liquid lip color. And so this shade similar to the Oxblood is very dark and moody, but it's more wine, burgundy, maroon, whatever you want to call it. It's definitely for the days when I'm feeling slightly Elvira or Morticia Adams. In terms of the color, of clothing I like to wear with this of course the black moody emo <laughs> goth whatever you want to call it black goes very well with this shade it also goes very well with the light pinks I have in my wardrobe so I have two light pink blazers including this one two pale dusty pink coats and a dusty pink bomber jacket that I love to wear with this moody wine color this color pink can read very very spring Easter <laughs> when I wear with this deep dark maroon color it definitely reads more fall and last but not least, I love it with a very similar shade. This is All Saints leather coat that I got years ago that I still love to wear. I love the color and I think my MAC Cosmetics High Drama goes a little bit better with this shade, but either way, I think it's a good match. Sometimes I like a nice monochromatic look when it comes to this wine color. Let me know what you think of this color and if you wear it, let me know if you like the shade. So the next liquid color I wanna talk about is pink. Now I know a lot of people are gonna tell you, you can't wear pink in the fall and there are definitely certain shades of pink you need to put away, but for me, I'm still gonna wear the pink. This is a pink I wear all year round. It's a little bit more of a fuchsia. Yeah, fuchsia in the fall is fine. You're gonna have to get rid of those Barbie doll pinks. There are some shades of pink that really, really read 
spring. This usually has enough red, so I think it looks good all year round. I wear this color a lot on my channel. A lot of people think it's a red, but it's actually a pink. Hard to tell it's a pink until I have on pink. I love a good applicator. Excuse me if I'm putting on my lipstick crazy. I've been putting on lipstick all day. Now, when I'm wearing clothes that have more of a warm tone, I love to wear red, but when I wear clothes that have a slightly cooler tone, I wear this pink. And I definitely love this with blue. So I'm wearing a Milani Amore Matte Lipstick. It's discontinued, and I've been trying to find a replacement. I have yet to find a replacement. I get it on Amazon. All of these lip colors are gonna be linked in the description below. I have a shade that's more purpley pink. It's called Obsession. I prefer this more true pink, which is called Gorgeous, which I have on. I've been looking for a comparable pink. I'm sure there is, I just haven't found one. I feel like in the red and the maroon and the oxblood category, I have like five of each, but in the pink, I have one. And I think that's indicative of how the industry is prioritizing. Like everybody's trying to find the right red for them. And so brands are coming out with good reds. That maroon burgundy wine color has always been popular. And I've always, like, I remember back in the 90s, I was able to find good colors. So it's a staple year after year. I feel like Oxblood has become a little bit more popular. Nude, we're not, we're not gonna talk about nude. But this pink color, I'm having a hard time because I feel like I have really warm undertones and I feel like this is a really good one for myself. If I ever find a new one, I will link it in the description below. I don't wear a lot of blues, but when I do, I wear this lip color. I think the blues bring out the pink in this. When I wear it, a lot of people tell me I like, love your red lipstick and I'm like, it's pink but whatever. This actually looks good with a lot of things that work with red as long as they're not super warm. You definitely need a little bit of coolness. I wear a lot of pinks and fuchsias and I think that that's when this color just explodes. Nobody's gonna mistake this color for red when I have it on with this pink sweater. If you remember, I was wearing the sweater in the beginning of the video with more of a nudie pink lip color. I love both looks, but this is definitely more of a wow, bam, look at me. I know it's a little matchy matchy, but I do love matching my lipstick and my shirt together sometimes. It's a vibe. Let me know what you think. Also looks really good with white. I wore it in another video with like a bright white t-shirt, but I'm sure most people thought it was red at that time. Until I find a new color, I'm just gonna be hoarding this on Amazon. There's only like five of them left. Don't buy them all up because I'm gonna be mad at y'all. Let me know in the comments if you wear pink in the fall. So those are my favorite lip colors to wear in the fall. And actually some of them year round. Let me know in the comments which is your favorite color. In this video, I talked about my favorite lip colors to buy. If you're interested in other beauty products I buy over and over again, I'm gonna link that video here. All right, see you next time. Bye.